The idea uh, overall was to work with the uh, city of Miami Beach to program art installations and exhibitions, trying to see if art could help have a conversation um, about the relationship between the police on Miami Beach and black visitors and, and locals um, during Memorial Day weekend. As a collective, we decided that in order to reframe the conversation, a certain amount of acknowledgement was necessary um, so that we could engage the public in the conversation of what has happened on South Beach historically and create a safe space to continue that dialogue in a more progressive direction. Raymond Harris was a 22-year-old a uh, Miami resident who was murdered by police uh, in a hail of over 100 bullets on Memorial Day weekend. I think it's important for Raymond's story to be told, and I think it's important for us to positively engage conversations about historical discrimination by police officers against Black people. I thought it was very important to honor this person um, as someone whose life was cut short in an untimely manner. One of the reasons why we selected him as uh, a subject for one of the pieces was due to that case, Miami Beach police changed their policy as far as opening fire on moving vehicles. This is something that was an important event that happened in Miami Beach during Memorial Day weekend and it, it should be documented in that manner. I definitely feel that taking down or requesting that the work be taken down is definitely censorship. Uh, we were told that it was offensive and um, someone didn't like it. But the reasons um, I think were somewhere along the lines of it being inappropriate, whatever that means. When I found out that the piece was removed, I was extremely frustrated and, and angry because it was just a reminder of that experience that, that Black folks frequently go through, wherein we're, we're not believed, where our experiences are minimized, and where our voices don't matter. I think anybody has the right to criticize art. However, when it comes to censorship, I don't think that Miami Beach officials should be involved in censoring the voice of artists. We don't live in a country where thoughts and ideas are censored by the government. That is not what the Constitution protects. So that behavior was clearly out of line and it was clearly an act of censorship. It would be awesome if there would be no need for a memorial for someone who went through a situation like this ever again.